Hello, my friend, Jeff Pro here. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own overlays for uh, StreamYard. All right, so first let me just show you a few that I've made and uh, I'll show you how I made them. So I got a few different ones here. All right. So as you can see, you can get really creative creating these. Here's what I did for around, it was around December, around Christmas time. Okay, here's the the one they give you. Oh, oh let me see. So that's the one that uh, StreamYard provides for you. So I've got a couple more here. Okay, so the way that I've been making these overlays is I've been using a program called Canva. Now, if you are familiar with Canva and you've used it, then this is you're going to be ahead of the game. And if you haven't used Canva, all I can tell you is that uh, you know get in there and play with it, and you'll figure it out. So to create an overlay, there's something that's very important. When you go to Canva, you want to click over here where it says "Create a Design." All right. Now you want to make sure you click on here where it says custom dimensions. These dimensions have to be the right size for the overlay and the dimensions are 1280 by the height of 720. Okay, so you do that, you hit create your design and what I like to do is with this uh, template, I guess you would call it, I like to put in a background color and I usually use, um, let me see, I usually use, oh, let me find it. I'll start with this blue one, but what I usually do is I like to use gray. All right, so after you choose your background color, and the reason why I choose gray, you could choose any color, but I use gray because after I'm done, I'm gonna remove the background and for me, I've found that using gray or something that contrasts the other colors makes it easier to pick the background to remove to remove it. All right, so once again, what you can do here is you can pick different objects, and I'm just going to show you what I've been doing with my with my overlays. I usually use this rectangle and this triangle to make. Um, to make it like, like what I showed you, like what I've already showed you, all right. So you just get everything set up the way you want it, all right. I'm going to change these colors to a blue, okay. Oops, blue. And the great thing with this is you can upload your own pictures to use, all right. So. I created one here. This is um, one that you've already seen from one of the overlays I've already made. And then, you know, I'm simply going to resize it, bring it down, and just bring it right over. All right. And you can change the colors. You can add whatever you want, really. And I'm also going to add this Facebook Live and just put that in the corner. All right, now you can also add text. I did have text, and I'm going to show you that now. So you just click on Add Text, and I'm just going to use my name. And you can change the font style, which is really cool. Let me see here. I think I'll try this one. Oops. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to change the color to white so it stands out. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and just move it up. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All right, and like I said, you can get fancy, you can put other things in. Just use your imagination, create whatever you want. All right, so the next step is to download this and take out this gray background. So I'm going to hit this down arrow here. Okay, and I'm going to download it. And 
it should be already downloaded. Next is I want to go to um, Pixio Cutter. This is one I, I was playing with earlier. But let me let me open up the other the new one that I just created, uh, just to show you how to remove the um, the background. Okay, so that should be this one. Download it should be this one right here. So I clicked on it. I'm opening. And if you've used this Pixio cutter before, then um, well, that's not the one. All right, let me try again. Uh, what's this? Who's this one? I don't know what happened there. All right, so there it is. So next, what I want to do is I want to eliminate this gray background. So I want to click on this red paintbrush here, and then just go over everything that I want all this gray and this is it's a pretty smart system it'll figure out what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of so after I do that I'm gonna click on the green and just kinda of go over what I want to keep a little bit and like I said it's pretty smart it'll figure out exactly what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of so if I take my cursor off this screen it should show me um, this background taken out. Okay, so there you have it. The uh, gray background is gone. What I'm going to do now is just save this to my desktop. Okay, it's already got my name there. So I want to go to desk desktop. Click on desktop and save. Yep, I'm going to replace it. Okay, so I can get rid of this. All right, coming back to StreamYard. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just simply upload that overlay into StreamYard, and it is right here. Open. And there you have it. All right, pretty easy to do. If uh, if you're not familiar with using Canva, then you know there's a learning curve with everything. Just figure it out. Maybe you have a different program that you can use. The key thing is to make sure that when you create your overlay, the dimensions are right. And that was um, 12 by 80 or 1280 by 720. You want to make those dimensions. You want to make sure you use those dimensions when you're creating. I imagine there's other programs out there that you could use. Um, I just use Canva because I've been using it for a long time. And as far as the background remover, I'm sure there's other uh, maybe free programs out there that you can use to remove the background. I just happen to use um, this uh, Pixio because I've had it for like four or five years now and I'm used to using it. So there you have it, my friend. I hope that uh, this gave you a little bit of education uh, as far as how to create your own overlays using Canva and uh, the Opixio. And feel free to share this out with anybody who you think might benefit uh, from the video. Make it a great day and take care.